Hey everybody, welcome back to Sugar Shane's Sweet Life. Currently just visiting Jacksonville, Florida for the week. Uh, for those of you that may not know, I accepted a position in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just a, a better paying position is the reason why I left Jacksonville, Florida to begin with. Uh, just, so I just really just came back for the week just to kind of visit some friends and you know see some people I haven't seen in a while. You know, just have fun, kick it. But really, uh, on this episode, I just, I'm currently at my uh, old apartment complex, and I just wanted to share with you guys, maybe give you guys some ideas on if, if you're trying to live out of your car. Some, some maybe by choice, some maybe by necessity. And for the people that are by necessity, you know, this is really just give you some ideas on what you can do. You know, first of all, you know, people often say like, where do you park your car at? You know, where's a good place to park your car? I. You know, a lot of people do Walmart, which is 24-7, you know, that makes sense. But some people maybe don't pick the best spots to park. You know, you can't just park in front of somebody's business. You can't park in front of somebody's house. You know, in industrial areas, you know, where businesses, you know, are and stuff like that, they usually have security patrolled a lot. So you just don't want to look suspicious. And if you start looking suspicious, that's when people call the cops and that's when you have to deal with talking to the cops or possibly get your car towed. So you don't want any of that. I often thought that an apartment complex is the best place, you know, to just set up set up your car because think about it. Like, how often have you visited friends and uh, you know in the, at their apartments or maybe stayed the weekend? Nobody ever cared what your you know your car being there. And there's so many different cars in the apartment complex. How could they possibly keep track of whose car does not belong there? You know, some some apartment complexes are a little bit more advanced. They're gated communities. You know, they have security at the front and stuff like that. You know, those are the ones you, you obviously wouldn't go to. But, and for example, my apartment complex that I'm at now, the old one that I used to stay at, they don't have security like that. It's it's quiet. It's very ducked off in the cut and stuff like that. There's not too many cars where they're taking up every parking spot. So there's always places to park. But really. I just wanted to, you know, share with show show you guys what I would have done because I had planned on living out of my car for a period of time while I stayed in Jacksonville, Florida. Prior to me, you know, knowing that I was going to be taking a position in Charlotte, North Carolina, I started to map out how I was going to do this living out of my car here in Florida. So, with my apartment complex, uh, I found some interesting hacks that I think you guys might really enjoy. Um, but it's something to keep in mind uh, as what I'm about to show you guys something to keep in mind that you know just give you some ideas if if you're planning on you know living around an apartment complex the amenities that they have to offer always check out the amenities and and just go to any random apartment complex and and check it out see what they got you know and you might be able to you know to help yourself out so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, what what I found and this is how I was gonna do it prior to me moving to Charlotte guys, so this is the pool this is where I'm at you know and as you can see they got these uh, chairs seated out and you know not to say that I would do this all the time but you know when I went out of town to uh, uh, st. Petersburg Florida you know I went to an old apartment complex that I used to live at there and just to save myself on a hotel cost I, I ended up just sleeping outside in one of these you know no one <laughs> no one comes and, and checks you know in the middle of the night to see you know if you're sleeping out there um, so, you know, if it's warm enough and it's not raining or something like that, this just could be something you might consider doing if you just were trying to save on a hotel cost and, you know, just go to an apartment complex and lay down in one of these, pass out. You know, usually if you're going out to, you know, some place, you know, in St. Pete or Tampa or, you know, wherever, Miami, you know, you're probably going out there to party and whatnot anyway. So you're probably just going to knock out uh, in one of these. but. Like I said, that's just an interesting hack, but let me just get to the rest of the tour here and I'll show you guys what's pretty cool about it. Also, you know, if you don't have a gym membership to take a shower and you, you know, you're kind of in a gym, you have an outdoor shower here. You know, I'd wear a bathing suit for that though because as you can see, there's no door so people could see you naked. And. You got these bathrooms they stay open 24 7 you know here at this particular apartment complex so I think that's cool you know if I've been staying in my car here I'll uh, you know 
if I have to go in the middle of the night or whatever, it's just nice to have a bathroom. Also, you know, if you wanted to just come in and, you know, maybe, you know, shave or brush your teeth, you know, you have running water and stuff like that. If you, if you really had to go, like I said, it's nice to have a bathroom. And like I said, this stays open. I don't know about other apartment complexes, but this one leaves their bathroom open all night. So it's helped me out before in the past. Okay. And this is what's really cool. Usually you would need a key to get in, but uh, they leave their back door open. And, you know, prior to me leaving here, what I was going to do, if I was to stay in Jacksonville, Florida, you know, since I used to live here, I used to be a resident, I was just going to get keys copied, you know, to, to enter the gym. And then just turn in those keys, turn in the original keys that they gave me, keep the key copies, and just keep coming to the gym. <laughs> So, but, but I don't have to do that, you know, I'm, I'm on vacation right now, I'm just visiting. And you'll find that their door is open. So, as you can see, this is the front door. That's where you have to use uh, your key to get in. But their back door is always open. I even noticed that when I was uh, a resident here. And I'm not sure if every apartment complex would be like that. Obviously, like I said, you're just going to have to check them out. But... You got the whole gym, you know, so you can get a workout in. And check this out. This is pretty cool. You can come in here, you know, watch some TV. Maybe the football game's on and because you don't have a TV, you're living homeless. You want to watch it or you want to get caught up on a TV show or whatever. I mean, you got your TV there. Also, if it's a really hot day, you come in and just get some air conditioning. You don't want to be hanging out in your car. Just come out and hanging out in here for a while. Um, over here, they got outlets so you can charge some things. You can use your laptop. They got Wi-Fi. A lot of apartment complexes, you can just tap into their Wi-Fi. So that's something to consider as well. Um, you know, sit down and eat a meal in here. Just, or just chill, just lounge out. But I thought that, that this was really cool. Okay, so that's all I just wanted to just show you guys, you know, for, for those of you out there that are maybe considering trying to live out of your car, just to give you some ideas on, you know, some things you could tap into. There's apartment complexes with amenities like this one, you know, or maybe you were a resident at one point and you had gotten evicted or you moved out or whatever, you know, keep the key copies, you know, because uh, I don't think that they change the locks routine and how many residents do they have? Just think about it. So... If you were to make a, a key copy, you could have access to a place like this and still, you know, make out. But I, I wouldn't make it too much of a, you know, I wouldn't hang out here too often because they give tours, you know, uh, to future residents. So you don't want to, you don't want to be around, you know, like these business hours here at my apartment complex in my old one um, is eight to six. So you don't want to be around during the, that time period because if they're giving, you know, uh, residents a tour and they keep seeing you in here, they're going to probably put it two and two together and be like, is this guy living here or what? You know, but after hours, when they go away, all, you know, the, the people that show the, the future residents around, you know, the workers here, maintenance people and stuff like that, when they all go home for the day, you know, you can come up in here free reign. You probably could sleep in here. You just could be out by a certain time, you know. But nobody's going to be coming up in this common area. You know, when I was a resident here, nobody seldom used it. The gym is, is different, you know, but the actual common area here that I'm sitting in right now, nobody ever came up in here. Nobody even utilizes this. So you think if you really wanted to, you could probably sleep up in here. If you wanted to be on your laptop or whatever, you want to use the Wi-Fi or you want to watch TV, you could do it so uh that's that's really all though i just wanted to give you guys some ideas and this is how i'd be doing it if i was still living in jacksonville florida i having this at my you know my advantage i would go ahead and take advantage of it for real so just something for you guys to consider if you're trying to do this car life thing you know look into look at your apartment complexes nearby you know and really kind of study them and see you know, what they have to offer and what maybe could help you. Maybe some places have outdoor showers and stuff like that. If you're in a pinch, you know, uh, having a gym is nice too, to be able to consistently work out. That's one less cost. If you don't want to go to a gym membership, I would probably keep my gym membership though, just for the shower sake. 
that's open 24 seven. So you want to, you know, gym membership, gym membership is not that expensive, 10 to 20 bucks. That'll get you a shower. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to just show you guys, give you guys some, maybe some ideas and, you know, like I said, this is how I'd be doing it if I was still living in Jacksonville, Florida, but I really did my research. So that's really it. I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. There's really not much else to show you or talk about. And uh, that concludes another episode of Sugar Shane's Sweet Life. And I'll catch you on the next episode.